This video is significant because it discusses the future of employment featuring insights from Avital Balwit who works at Frontier Lab and Anthropic. Her perspectives on how work and employment will evolve are crucial for everyone including you and me. I plan to thoroughly explore this topic because staying ahead of future trend is essential. This post is a reflection by Avital Balwit, Anthropic's chief of staff on the future of work and the economy over the next few years. I believe her insights are among the most valuables we've encountered as experts at Frontier Labs rarely share their views on the future of work. She mentions being 25 years old and suggests that the next three years might be her last working years, which is a remarkable statement highlighting the profound changes ahead. She clarifies that this isn't due to illness, a decision to become a stay-at-home mom or financial independence, but rather the arrival of technological advancements that could end employment as we know it. These are her exact words, underscoring the importance of understanding the gravity of what we're facing. Anthropic, a leading AI lab behind Cloud3, suggests that technological advancements may soon end traditional employment. A vital bandwidth from Anthropic highlights that each AI model iteration is increasingly capable, making certain skills obsolete. Many people dismiss AI's impact, believing new jobs will emerge, but this is naive. AI's ability to automate itself sets it apart from past tech revolutions. Balwit notes that knowledge workers often deny AI's growing capabilities, focusing on its limitations. The key point is that AI doesn't need to surpass the best humans but only needs to outperform the average worker. This has significant economic and political implications. Preparing for these changes is crucial as AI is rapidly reshaping the job market. Automation only needs to outperform the average worker, not the best, to replace jobs. For instance, while AI might not yet make Hollywood movies, it is already transforming industries like film and photography. Each new model iteration becomes more capable, making tasks like content generation more efficient and highlighting the shrinking gap where AI struggles. Many dismiss AI's impact, focusing on its current limits, but this is short-sighted. AI doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be better than the average human at a task. This has significant implications for job automation. The key question is how society will adapt to a future where traditional work may not exist. Work provides social connection, status, and stability. If AI continues to improve, as expected, society must consider how people will find happiness and meet their needs without jobs. Despite many discussions, no government has yet adopted policies for this potential future. As AI research advances, improvements in algorithms, data quality, and computational power are expected. The field is still young, with many easy improvements, low-hanging fruit remaining. This means we're just beginning to see what AI can achieve and its capabilities will continue to grow, further impacting the job market. Given the abundance of low-hanging fruit in AI research, significant advancements are expected. Although current models use vast amounts of data, they can generate even more, improving exponentially until resources are exhausted. Language models improve in jumps, much like baking a cake, mixing data and algorithms, pre-training, and post-training. Many believe AI will eventually handle all economically useful tasks, starting with online work like copywriting, tax preparation, and customer service. AI is set to excel in any task involving reading, analyzing, and generating content. Remote work and online jobs are particularly vulnerable to automation as AI work continuously at a lower cost than humans. Not all industries will be affected simultaneously. Cognitive automation is advancing faster than robotics, so jobs requiring manual dexterity like plumbing or surgery are safer for now. Regulated industries such as medicine or law will maintain human involvement longer due to regulatory hurdles. Ultimately, it's crucial to consider how AI will impact your job and prepare accordingly. The shift won't happen overnight but will be gradual, affecting different sectors at different times. Understanding and adapting to these changes is essential for future job security.
AI's progress is creating concern about job automation. Regulatory bodies and industries like medicine or law will likely slow down AI's takeover due to their resistance to change and strict regulations. Job requiring human interactions such as counselors, caregivers, and teachers are less likely to be replaced by AI. These roles offer a human empathy and connection that AI can't replicate. However, remote work and online tasks are highly susceptible to AI automation. As AI systems continue to improve, many jobs will be effective incrementally rather than all at once. Industries involving intricate manual work or human emotional engagement will remain secure for longer. The psychology of employment highlights that unemployment, such as from the collapse of the Spanish construction industry, negatively impacts mental and physical health. As automation spreads, understanding its effects on employment and preparing for changes is crucial. Unemployment generally makes people more unhappy, unhealthy, and anxious. However, it's unclear if this is due to the nature of unemployment itself or its associated effects. When you're unemployed, you might feel a loss of status and income, leading to feelings of not contributing to society and financial security. The key question is whether people find the meaning in work itself or its distress comes from the consequences of not working. For example, if someone received $10 million but was forbidden to work, most people would be satisfied, indicating that the distress might be contingent on financial and social factors. During widespread job losses, like those during the pandemic, the psychological impact was less severe because everyone was experiencing it together. This shared experience reduced personal blame and fostered a sense of community. Financial support also helped alleviate distress. Looking ahead, the psychological impact of unemployment will vary by industry and timing. Some sectors, particularly those involving cognitive labor, will be automated first while others may resist using AI entirely, creating diverse employment landscapes and psychological outcomes. When considering which companies to work for, it's important to understand their CEO's stance on AI. While CEOs are typically driven to increase profits, their approach to AI can vary, making it a key factor in choosing an employer. The future of work will be shaped by these decisions. The post-scarcity society described in the culture books, where materials need are fully met, but people still seek a sense of purpose. Even in a world where resources are abundant, individuals still crave meaningful contributions. For example, engaging in activities purely for the joy of doing them, rather for necessity or excellence, is highlighted as a way to find fulfillment. Preparing for a future with advanced AI involves embracing activities that bring joy even if we aren't the best at them. An AI researcher suggests practicing activities like jiu-jitsu or surfing to savor the experience without striving for perfection. This mindset will be crucial in a future where AI may surpass human capabilities, yet we still need to find ways to fill our days meaningfully. The development of superhuman AI system might also help address the problems they create. As we advance toward AGI, these systems could insist in finding purpose in a world where traditional jobs may no longer exist. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these ideas and how you plan to navigate the future of work. If you find this discussion valuable, let's continue exploring these topics together.